So suppose f for that is a constant. Then the limit as x goes to a of f for x is just the constant. Because this is the same as the limit as x goes to a of f for x, which is c, as opposed to e, this is c, which is c. That is, as x changes, c doesn't. And this is a fact, a theorem. And the proof is, so we want to show this. So we want to show that given epsilon greater than zero, we can find the delta greater than zero such that f of x, an absolute value, minus the limit, is less than epsilon, less than epsilon, whenever 0 is less than x minus a, which is less than delta. Well, this is 0. Is less than epsilon. But 0 is always less than a positive number. It's always true. This is true whenever 0 is less than this absolute value of 0 is 0 0 is less than epsilon whenever for any delta bigger than 0 you pick any delta it'll work or you can pick delta the equal epsilon and okay. that finishes this.